Let's save it. It's going to go back to spine one. Well, not spine one, sorry, spine two lock. And it's fifth. Maximum is a bit too small as well. Okay, it's damaged the arm for some reason. If you can see that, the back's gone kind of weird. Let's just undo that for a second. Let's select each arm separately. So left arm. I can see what's going wrong over here. Okay. Just a quick test. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, yeah, my fault. Sorry. Um, as for the arms, just undo that so they go back to the normal position. Don't drag it from the containers. If you drop down the left arm, you should have something called left arm upper one. Now, if you move that one, that should be okay. So open right arm and select right arm upper one. Now, if you both bring both of those up. The back should stay the way it was. There we go. Now the back hasn't changed at all. Okay, this arm has problems now, so let's do it individually, it's better off. This one goes up like so, and then right arm. It's going to go here. Okay, this works fine. Uh, as you can see, we can't see through the gun. To sort that out, go back to the main camera and put a 0 0.01 and hit enter. Perfect. Now that's sorted that out. And if we run it this time and have a look, it should all be okay. There we go, we can see the feet, we can look up. And the player follows us as well. I think I can make it look a bit more down actually, so we can see a bit more legs so in order to do that we're going to adjust spine to and instead of 15 let's have it do 18 save that yeah that's better here we go that looks a lot more nicer actually and if you look back up there we go that's great So the value should be as following. For spine one lock, your minimum should be minus 5.1, depending on yours. If it didn't work, you can always adjust it. Uh, maximum 16, spine lock two, 13 minus, minus 13, sorry, 18 for the maximum, and minus 12 for spine lock three, and maximum 17 for spine lock three. Now save that, and you're all done. No, we're not actually, sorry. Go back onto main player. Go to components, physics, character controller. Now, beautiful, that made it perfectly right onto the character. And let's just adjust the radius, it's a bit too big. Go to 0 0.2. Let's just have a quick look on the Y axis, see if that fits the character. Mm, bit too small, 0 0.2.5. No, sorry, not 2.5. 0 0.25 like so excellent save that all right guys so i think that's the end of that but before i do finish off there's something i need to explain uh you're probably wondering yourself why i've made these spine locks for now if you don't know back in the days if you should send emails to yourself um your email believe it or not would not stay exactly the way you were sent it 
Now I'm going to put this in terminology of sending Word documents. Now, Word documents, if you don't all know, contains words. A letter, it could be a memo to someone. Now, what happened was, back in the days, there was problems where you send someone an email. On your computer, it had the same layout, but other computers would get a complete new layout. For example, if I say, hello, Bob, how are you? And I send it to the other computer, the email will take it perfectly. But as soon as he opens it, hello, Bob won't be the same anymore. It'll be like, hello, Bob somewhere in the center of the screen. How are you? Maybe all the way down. Now that's that was a problem. How did they solve that? Well, I'm not going to explain much, but you should search that up. Basically, the email services make a invincible raw file, and that locks everything you send to the other client, which is your friend or whatever. It locks the locks the file you send them, so it doesn't change its positions, and this. Sorry, that implies to our spines because when we attach a script onto a spine lock, you notice that the other spines don't take action anymore. It's just only the new spines we created. So it's locking the original position to the way it was and only thing that changes is the new spine locks. So we can look up and down. And that's how it works basically. That's the reason we need the spine locks there. But if you are interested in researching that out, Trust me, do it, because you'll gain a lot of knowledge out of it. Okay, I think we're done, but before we do finish off, if you guys remembered yesterday, I uploaded a video. Uh, thank you, my two subscribers, Joru and Mr. Blender Models. Uh, well, Joru's here with me today, and he's the one who modeled the, the little, I guess, the meeting room, and my end outro, which is a Unity FPS tutorial pops out. So... Joru, would you like to say hello to my subscribers? Hi guys, it's me Joru. Um, I basically did the simple um, office meeting room, whatever you call it, stage four to help um, Naruto one two, Naruto is great one two three four with his tutorials, just to make a little jazz it up. Um, the stage itself, I think, if I'm correct, um, <coughs> he'll be selling it on his website. So. You know, feel free to download it. Um, I mean, and then you know, just use it to help you, to help yourself make the tutorials a bit better, I suppose, or just use them for your own interest. I mean, it's not the greatest stage in the world, but you know, it's something quick just to give you the idea of how um, games work in a real-time three D space or and whatnot. All right, um, just keep watching this guy's tutorials and keep educating yourself, and hope for the best. Take care guys. As always guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and stay tuned.